Optical Effusion Quantification This is the ultrasound image of the chest of a patient who is having pleural effusion. And we can see that there are multiple floaters inside the fluid. That means this effusion is exudative effusion. Let us proceed towards volume estimation of this fluid. So there are various formulas for estimation of the effusion fluid. But the most popular of them are three. The first one is the Balik formula where the patient lies in the supine position, the head side of the bed is reclined up about 15 degrees and a transverse image is taken at the base of the lung. The maximum distance between the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura is measured in millimeters and this is multiplied with 20 that gives the amount of fluid inside the thorax. In our case, we will sweep the scan from liver towards upwards and we will reach at the base of the lung. So in this frame, we will measure the maximum distance between the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura. The red curved line is the parietal pleura and the blue curved line is the visceral pleura. We will measure the maximum distance between these two lines. So here it turns out to be 50.2 mm. So according to the Balik formula, the amount of effusion fluid comes out to be 1004 ml. Proceeding towards the next formula that is the Goiki formula number 1. Here the patient is sitting in the erect position. A sagittal image is taken at posterior lateral chest wall and the maximum distance between the CP angle and cephalic end of effusion at the base of the lung is taken. This distance in centimeters is multiplied with 90 and that gives the amount of the effusion. So this is the sagittal image of the chest at the dorsolateral wall and the distance between the CP angle and the cephalic end of the effusion comes out to be 12.5 centimeters. So according to Goiki formula number one the effusion fluid comes out to be 1125 ml. Proceeding to Goeki formula number 2, here also the patient is sitting in the erect position and the sagittal image is taken at posterior lateral chest wall. The maximum distance between the CP angle and cephalic limit of effusion at the base of the lung is measured in centimeters and the mid diaphragmatic subpulmonic effusion distance also is measured in centimeters both of them are added up and multiplied with 70 so this is the mid diaphragmatic subpulmonic effusion the distance is approximately 5 centimeters therefore according to goeke formula number 2 the amount of fluid comes out to be 1225 ml. So, according to the literature, the Goiki formula number 2 is the most accurate formula amongst these three. So, in our case, we are having an exudative pleural effusion, and according to Balik formula, the amount of effusion is 1004 ml. According to Goeki formula, it is 1125 ml and according to Goeki formula number 2, it is about 1225 ml. Therefore, our patient is having exudative pleural effusion with the volume of about 1000 to 1200 ml.
थैंक यू